Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Justin Wolf from Wolf Customs. What we're going to do today is we're going to attempt to take this striker right here that I received in a trade um, some time back and uh, we're going to try to retemper it. The reason we're going to do that is because as you can see it throws zero sparks. So, number one, ladies and gentlemen, when you trade, trade honorably. Um, don't pass along items that don't work. But, my misfortune could be your fortune. Because today I'm going to attempt to retemper this. And uh, if it throws good sparks, I am going to give this away to one of you guys. So, like I said, my misfortune could be your fortune. Um, I have no idea of knowing what type of steel this is. Um, I don't know if I need to quench this in oil. I don't know if I need to quench this in water. And everything that I show here today, uh, understand that <laughs> this is this is my, you know this is really my first time of doing any of this. Um, I know nothing when it comes to blacksmithing, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. Um, in June, I'm going to be attending uh, Dave Canterbury's uh, basic blacksmithing class, so uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's, a, it's definitely an art that I've wanted to learn for quite some time, and I mean, in my personal opinion, it goes hand in hand with leather work and everything else, and all of my hobbies anyway. So, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to going. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera onto a propane forge that I have, and uh, we're going to heat this thing up very very a really nice glowing orange and then uh, we're going to attempt to quench in water first if that does not work then we're going to put it back in the forge heat it up to a cherry orange and let it just air cool um, heat it up yet again and then quench in oil and see if it works um, hopefully like I said this will um, work um, for all I know, this could simply have been a piece of mild steel or something um, made to uh, look like a striker. And like I said, I got junk passed on to me. So let's hope that's not the case. Alright, and this propane forge that I'm using right here is simply nothing more than, you know, old scrap steel and everything else that's just been welded together. Um, I did not personally do this, uh, however I, I do have a fabrication background so I would have zero problem making something like this, but uh, actually one of my good friends um, actually gave this to me and um, you know so far it's uh, pretty cool, I'm really kind of liking it, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> That was my uh, new Stanley cook pot that I used to actually quench this in. Um, as you've seen, I probably didn't get uh, the best even uh, quench. I kind of went in at an angle. Um, like I said, I'm new at this, so trial and error. But let's uh, 
Let's see if that actually worked, shall we? Not really. It's throwing a few. It's throwing a few sparks, but it didn't work. So let's uh, I'm gonna heat this up, get it back to uh, glowing orange, let it air dry, and then uh, I will quench it in oil. Let's see if that does the trick. <laughs> Okay, so she's cooled down to the touch, so we're going to light this off one more time, get it to, uh, like I said, that uh, really bright orange glow. We're going to pull it out, and we're going to quench it in some vegetable oil. Now when you're quenching it in oil, you're probably going to be uh, a little bit more cautious because you're probably going to get some flame up, so let's do it. truth I have taken some sandpaper and you know addressed the edge a little bit take the scale the scale off a little bit so uh, let's see if she will throw some sparks and not even a little bit Well, you guys, I apologize. I was hoping to be able to send this to one of you guys, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Um, I am going to post this video, um, even though it's a failure, because I want to know if there was something that I've done wrong. Um, I suspect that this was just crap steel, and, uh, you know, the gentleman that made me a trade... Um, well, he, he cheated me, basically. So, at least that's my suspicion. But uh, hopefully I find out that I've just done something wrong. So, anyway. Is what it is. Um, learn as we go, I guess. Okay, so for those of you that have continued watching this video, you all know that I despise failure. I don't like failing at anything. And so it's what I've done is I... I'm going to throw this piece of garbage away, and I just made my own. Okay. Set up a piece of 01 tool steel, and this thing throws good sparks. I'm going to adjust the camera so that you can see those. I don't know how well that's coming out on camera. I think is what I need to do is I think I need to get my uh, tin of punk wood and see if we can get an ember in that thing. Okay, I should be ashamed of myself. I don't have very much punk wood left. So, after this video, I think is what I'm going to do is I am actually going to make some more. But before we do that, let's see if we can actually get an ember in this tin. Oh, never mind. One good, one good strike, and that was all it took. Not good enough. Let's see if we can get a few more. Yep, there's another one. There's several. Not 
getting very good strikes. There we go. There we go. Embers all over the place. So I would say that that's not too shabby for my uh, first attempt at a steel striker. Um, I think is what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice a little bit more with this, see if I can uh, get it down, you know, to a science a little bit better. And uh, once I do that, I think I will make another one, and we will actually do a giveaway for that item. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good one.